Atlanta's number one hip-hop station, Hot 107.9. Of course, it's me, the most energetic entertainer. I got my pen in my hand because a lot of times I have to take notes. And this gentleman next to me is one of the ones that you you, you underground artists should be taking notes from. Because he's no longer underground no more. My dogs, ladies and gentlemen, Tony Chanel. What the fuck going on, my boy? With the sweater on. In the yeah. middle of the summer. You know how he's coming. <laughs> Too cold. First and foremost, I just got to say, I don't say this a lot of times. I said this with my dog, Digital Nas. Shout out Nas and Seti. But I'm a fan of your music, bro. I appreciate like, it. Like, your sound that you come in with. Like I said, we was walking up. It's like a new age, like, gangster classic. Like, coming up with your sound. I mean, your whole swag. It's a lot of people who, you know, they, they make a certain type of song. I'm sure Rue can attest. And you're like, that don't look like who made that. Yeah. You fit the swag of how you sound. I'm like, oh, this, he a cool dude. Like, you know? So talk about it, you know, where you from, for everybody who's just now catching on. You're too late, obviously. Right. But talk to the people, man. Where you from? How'd you get started with the music game? I'm from Cobb County, Marietta, Georgia. Atlanta. Um, you know what I mean? Uh, I came up a single mom, mm -hmm. you know what I'm saying? Three, uh, two sisters, you feel me? Um, I got kicked out at like 17, hit the streets, uh -huh. and I was in a, uh, I, I wanted to, I knew I wanted to do music, I didn't know if I wanted to rap yet type uh -huh. shit, but like, I had uh, found my way into the, to the studio type uh -huh. shit, you feel me, and then I started rapping, but I was like one foot in, one foot in the streets, mm -hmm. and I just like cut the streets cold turkey and just started rapping type shit. You feel me? And so what was that n next point where you was like, I could do this, like the, the the rap game. You know, I think this could be my swag. What was that? What was that mark for you? I think uh, I think I did a show at the Masquerade with uh, Benny. And Fire. I, like, uh, I just loved the energy type shit. You feel me? I yeah. loved the the, uh, the response I was getting. Like, I loved the fact that I was uh, inspiring people type shit. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Like, people messaging me talking about they like I helped them throughout their day, or like I stopped them from doing a harmful act to themselves. Yeah. That, shit, that shit always made me feel good. And yeah. I feel like that might have been my purpose. You yeah. Know what I'm Fire. Yeah, so, new tape that's out, Reflections. Mm -hmm. If you if you don't grab it right now, I don't know what to tell you. You're missing out on some classics. I mean, let's talk about it. Don't look at numbers. Mm -hmm. Born. It's, it's a couple of songs on there that's like, yeah. I'm like, and then you would think a lot of times, and you know, I, I applaud you on this. You have your own swag with it. When I heard your song, like I said before, I was trying to Shazam it. I heard it on Sadie Hendrick's story. Shout out my dog, Sadie. I'm like, bro, what song is this? Like, I'm like, is it a, I don't know. I don't know. They had plug drops back in the 70s, but the gangster tone of it, I'm like, yo. So talk about how, you know, Don't Look at Numbers came about with the, with the actual name of it. How did you title that song, and what was the whole swag? What was that studio? Take us back to the studio session when you recorded Don't Look at Numbers. All right, so first of all, I pride myself on being original. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Like, I, I pride myself to like go as far away from like what the standard is type shit, you feel me? So mm -hmm. off muscle, I'm rapping on beats that's not necessarily like the time frame type mm -hmm. shit, you feel me? Like, plug is something that's Atlanta, mm -hmm. but it's... It's like an older Atlanta, like a Young Dro, mm -hmm. like, uh, like a Zaytoven, mm -hmm. Rich Kids, Travis Porter, Swag. You feel what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. it's, a part of, it's a part of Atlanta, but it's just a part of Atlanta nobody really even... Tapped into. You feel like a lot of people is on the, like, the auto-tune or the, like the thug or like they stuck on the, the Gucci era mm -hmm. or like the, the 21 shit or the Waka shit. Uh -huh. So like off muscle, I'm putting my space in that In area, a different like, area. Yeah, Polo Boy just sent me the beat, and I ain't gonna lie to you. I'm not even gonna lie to y'all. I literally just rapped on that song just to get more beats. Like, I didn't even really expect that song to do, to do what it did. You feel me? Like, I'm not, like, the way it's been received, I'm like, bro, my manager, Bluetooth had to beg me to put that on the project. For real? I, mean, I was like, bro, So you weren't even gonna put that on the. Nah, bro, that wasn't even going on the project. I, was, I swear I made the track list. I, I had my plug, my real plug, <laughs> trick the play. I mean, um, make the the track list type yeah. shit. You feel me? So, like, we made that track list. Then I revised it myself, and that was that track list. Yeah, shout out Bluetooth, man. You feel me? Thank you. Yeah, he definitely made that happen because I for sure was not. I just. I literally made it to make to give him like sometimes I'm gonna pull the tape up to get real more beats to, shit, to, to, to show you guys like I mean and then it's one of the first songs that's actually on the tape. Yeah. So when you was like, okay, we're gonna put it on there, 
did you want it to be that soon or no he just felt so strong about it where i was like okay well if you feel that strong about it like let's it's let's, gotta be something you feel me? so when it comes to you know and i'm lo i'm looking at your resume young man because it's, it's it's a couple of people who i have to really look down at and see sure. working with oj the juice man yeah shout out the boys over there at chop house my boy trill explain that like a lot of people can't wake up and be like yeah you know i work with oj you the know juice, what mean? Man. Like, i mean I, I had the trap said hey a lot of people ain't did that this is so uh that came about just, uh, yeah, Thrill had just put me on the phone. I was uh, make, I was looking for features at the time, mm -hmm. and like, uh, he just was like, bro, you want OJ? And I'm like, fuck yeah, I want OJ. <laughs> what you talking about? <laughs> nigga, you feel me? He got on FaceTime with me. Apparently, like, he, he, like, he like, knew I was a young nigga, yeah. so he just, shout out to OJ, because yeah. he just fucking with young niggas getting yeah. that shit, you feel me? So, like, that was some real trash shit that just went on. Like, That's hard. Shout out Trap House again. That's hard. Um, so, just musically, like when you were putting out music, did you? A lot of people say like, you know, you have to pay your dues, you have to go through the SoundCloud, and then, you know, end up. Cause back in the day, it was like Spin Rilla, and then it was my mixtapes and that that whole process. Yeah, yeah. Explain your route with it. If there are any like upcoming artists out right now, and, and they're fans of Tony Snow, what were some of your processes of you like? Okay, I got to keep grinding. This part of the journey that got you going. Well, it take. They say it takes six years to be successful or something. Mm. You feel me? So like. Um, I always kept in mind that I wasn't gonna blow up. I'm not, I kn always knew I wasn't the artist that was just supposed to blow up tomorrow. Mm -hmm. Like, I make a song and that should just go up. Mm -hmm. you feel me? So, like, I know hard work is definitely a big characteristic you need to have. A strong mm -hmm. mindset, you feel me? A will to want to know, mm -hmm. you know what I'm saying? Like, being a, a student, I feel like I, I, I study a lot of people's traits or habits, you feel what I'm mm -hmm. saying? Like, Will Smith, Kobe Bryant, mm -hmm. you feel me? Like, that goes into it, so like making this shit a life style yeah. and a job type shit. Like you have to work this shit like a job. I yeah. feel like I feel like you have to like you're not gonna make no money if you only clock in for three hours out the week. Like yeah. you know what I'm saying? You're gonna get fired. Like, yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like you have to put in that overtime if you wanna be the manager or if you wanna be the owner of the, mm. the job type shit. It's gonna take that extra energy. You know I mean? So I just always kept that in mind type shit. Fire. You know what I mean? Now what have been some situations you've been put in because you know for people who are newly, you know, Tony Snow fans or people who've been with you since day one, what were some situations you were in that you can tell your fans that you were just like, yo, I can't believe I'm next to this person right now, or this person said my music hot, or it's like, I mean, of course you was on FaceTime with OJ the Juice Man, a, a, a great to say the least. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What was that moment you was like, bro, I'm Tony Snow, like. No cap, nah, but uh, I want to tell y'all that, um, the Brent Fires thing, like he linked up, it really was cool. Man. Yeah, and we we gonna get it to the Brent. You feel me? But I at the Crew League shit after, like I met Quavo type shit. Fire. Like, that was cool as fuck. I never like. Yeah. Quavo, you know? like, <laughs> <laughs> like, it's like Michael Jackson of Atlanta. I'm yeah. like, yo, nigga. It's Quavo, nigga. Yeah, talk to me and shit. Yeah. Like, like, damn, nigga, shit. You feel me? So like. I want to say that you feel me. I that's say right. Quavo, yeah. Michael Jackson of Atlanta. I think I think that's a that's a that's a great that's a great response to yeah, that. Right. So, Brent, I mean, can we release some of the news that's 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 coming out about you know I mean, what y'all got going on? Or, 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 or we we gonna hold it out? We gonna hold we it got out. something going on. Right. Okay. So, we got something how, going on. how did that whole relationship come about? I think he just honestly was a fan of my music. I really don't even know how to uh, like. It literally just came out the blue. Mm -hmm. Like, I know his photographer and we cool, but like, we had already been cool for a second. Like, it's not like he was, um, I don't feel like he forced him to like, yeah. Him. I feel like he just came, and the way he even came about the, the, the uh, I guess relationship is the word, but like, I even went about it. Like, it's just literally, I'm just fucking with some music, bro. It was yeah, natural. You feel me? Man, shit. All right. That's my nigga. All right. <laughs> <laughs> That's my nigga. That's all right. That's all right. Okay. Since you're from Atlanta, we got to do this. Top five Atlanta rappers of all time. Actually, no, nah, I'm going to get you for it. We're going to do the Mount Rushmore again. Okay. Who is Tony Snow's? Ru, let me know if he's just lying for the camera now, okay? You, Top you. four. Who is Tony Snow's Mount Rushmore Atlanta rapper version? Rocco. Ooh. Uh, we, I'm writing these down, by the way. Rocco. Uh, is Sway Lee from Atlanta? That's a great question. That is a great. Do we have like a fat He's reader in the back? He's not. Ru? Ah. Okay, no, not, okay, not so okay. That's a great option though. But Rocco, uh, Quavo, 
Got two more. I really want to give it to Gucci Mane. Are you giving it to him or is it a maybe? Nah, I really want to give it to Gucci Mane. Okay, he's, okay, he's, okay. he's certified. If you don't say the fourth one, who's I feel like is in everyone's mind right now, Tony is. It's two chains. Chains? Chains of the outcast though. Okay, you gotta keep in mind, like this is why I didn't like that. Right, <laughs> okay, I can give him a time period. Where's the time period? That is true. 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 <laughs> over time, I'm like, man, bro, that's really hard to say. I'm, chains is I'm up there. Some, What's your some favorite two chains song? Um, damn, that fucking. Uh, Mine is watch out. Nah, it's on. Uh, watch out is crazy. It's on that one tape, Trevor Belly Trey, I think, the one with the. Uh, with the BFF song on it. Um, damn. Fork? Nah. Uh, how does Fork go? Uh, 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 hey Siri, play Fork by 2 Chains. There you go. That's why I left it. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Come on. Fork by 2 Chains now playing. Mama. Ah! <laughs> Come on, bro. Fork was crazy. You get that money out of my pants last night? <laughs> That fork is a crazy one. What? That tape was iconic. Well, that was like boat, boat two, me time. Yeah, that was iconic tape. That was that was insane. Yeah, sure. That was an insane tape. So let's talk about your love for music for like the '80s and the '90s, yeah. and you know that New York sound. How did that help influence Tony Snow's sound? Back to saying again, I'm a student in the game. You feel what I'm saying? So like, I'm not only am I a student in just the game, I'm studying in life type shit. So like, I, I listen to like what people around me listen to almost mm. like show and, and like I go into depth about it type yeah. shit. like my mom from Cali so I really when she just told me that and told me her favorite artist I like dived into him for real like Tupac DJ Quick E40 and um, DJ Quick you feel me um Death Row Easy E and shit like that mm -hmm. West Side Gun and Dub C. West Side Gun. I think he has some of the craziest yeah. beats. Shout out my dog Jordan. He put me on the West Side Gun. But then, and then uh, speaking of that, the, the, uh, I, when I was in the streets though, I was around like New York dudes type mm -hmm. shit. You feel me? So they put me on like shows like Money and Violence. Mm -hmm. You feel me? Like I was listening to Jay Kiss, Cameron, and shit mm -hmm. like that. And Jay, -Z, like I, honestly, growing up, cause I'm from the South, I never really even paid that much attention to Jay Z like that. Yeah. So I was always like. All right, Jay Z. Cool. Yeah, you feel what I'm saying? but he really but got, got some random niggas and bangers. Shit. Shit. Like, bro, you spitting. Jay Z is nice, bro. He's spitting. His problems, yeah, he's nice, bro. Like, is you, what do you think? Is it his wordplay? Is it just how he? Man, he's literally the rapper. Like, <laughs> yeah, I look at that sometimes. I look at that sometimes. Yeah, you know what I mean, like, I feel like everything goes into play about being the best rapper. Mm -hmm. type shit. That's why I'm so hard on myself. Type yeah. Shit. You gotta have the best beats. You gotta have best lyrics. You gotta have the, all the hoes. You gotta be fucking. <laughs> yeah, oh, it's a checklist. It's, it's, a, it's checklist. definitely gotta, a checklist. You, gotta, you have business motion. You yeah, be rich outside of rap. Like, yeah, you feel me? like, but like, there's a lot that go into that. For sure, he was tackling all them. And and, like, and I think how he did it was you could. He's one of those artists you can see his progress with it. You know, especially when the time when he came up in, everybody didn't have this. Mm -hmm. Like going platinum with people, but like. Really going Driving to the store, bro. What? Buying CDs? Yeah, not just Jay Z, Dame Dash too. They the Rockefeller entire <laughs> thing was crazy, bro. Like, A mafia. They, they were talking about they like had people like they was giving away bottles and some shit like that. Yeah. And, like, like the first fifty people got a free bottle type shit. And it would be lined across the line. Crazy. You know what I mean? Line. Around the block. Do you wish times like went back to that, or 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 are you? I mean, a you little think? bit, but not necessarily. I, I kind of do, just cause on some like. I really hate the fact that everybody a rapper type shit. Yeah. I feel like it would be way less rappers like yeah. this. And if he was actually talented, you would be able to succeed type shit. Real music. You know what I mean? But then at the same time, we was just looking back on some old music earlier. Like, some of these niggas really suck. Right? Yeah. <laughs> we, they was getting a push. They was, yeah, yeah. They was cool. Yeah, they had the swag. Like, they just, they literally knew a nigga. Like, oh, that's yeah. my brother. Like, yeah. so there's nothing he owned. He owned. And like, nowadays, like, it's 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 both. It can go both ways. Like something really trash can go viral, but something really good can also mm -hmm. go viral. Like so, I like I really liked Corona because it like people had to sit down and really pay attention to music. Well, pay attention to art. Period. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? So it eliminated a lot of things. Cause you, you know? couldn't do shows. Like TikTok was like, hot. Was you were seeing, seeing a lot of rappers. Like, you suck. Like we saw it. Yeah. Like, we we got to, they had to sit there and pay attention to your music. Like yeah. you saw a lot of artists really fall. Like, gone. Like, he was like, yeah, bro, what happened to, uh, oh, bro? 
Oh. Out of there. People paid attention. Yeah. <laughs> a, little, a little too much. Nigga, and that's why they got him out of there. And now you're like, well, is he you know what really what talking like, about something? Yeah, like, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Like, They're they out of there. To, but like when the pandemic had first hit, like niggas was like, before it popped off, niggas was like, what's this? Shock yeah, shock yeah, Ryan yeah. Niggas is gone, like the jokes, like yeah. Like, and so, it. and you know, that's why we appreciate real music, man. So yeah. before we get out of here, head to the stew. You got any shout outs before you get up out of here? Uh, shout out my mama. Uh, shout out God. Yeah. Shout out, uh, my plug. Shout out Bluetooth. Yeah. Shout, shout out, out Bluetooth. Shout, shout out, out Rue. Yup. Ah! Shout out Benny. Shout out DJ Unreal. Yeah. Uh, Seti Hendrix. Shout out Seti, man. K Duncan. Uh, Whole gang. The game, nigga. Okay. Everybody that's rocking with me, I'm rocking with you. Hey, man, Tony Snow, go get it right now. Reflections, of course, it's me, Manny Supreme. And I, I, I sat down with one of my favorites today, yes, man. You know what I'm saying? <laughs>